What is the photo stitch element? Well, it consists of three different ways to convert a photograph into an embroidery design. The first way, called Photo Flash, has been around in Wilcom for a long time, and it's really easy to use. You select the photograph, click the Photo Flash icon, choose a resolution, and click Tick to apply. I'm going to change those green stitches to black, and we'll zoom in and take a look what's happened. So the conversion has generated thin running lines and thicker satin lines to produce those light and dark objects of the photograph. It can be easier. The next way is called Rephoto Stitch. It's similar to Photo Flash in the way it creates a single colour embroidery design, but this time it uses random tours of stitches to replicate those light and dark areas. You use it by selecting the photograph, click on Rephoto Stitch, and the trick here is to adjust the artwork so you get a good balance between contrast and brightness. Click on Preview to generate the stitches. And if you need any modifications, you can change the settings and preview again to get the results that you're looking for. The third option, and this is where the magic happens, is called Colour Photo Stitch. Select the image, click the icon, which brings up the interface. There's been major improvements here compared to the outgoing version. We've now got control over stitch settings such as the length, the spacing and the coverage, as well as the trims, which is going to result in a much more efficient, high quality stitch out. When you're ready to generate the stitches, click on Preview. And if you're happy with the results, click OK. I'm going to hide the background image. And what we're left with is stunning, full colour, photographic quality embroidery.